fat kings nine. All the people who were left are the Amorites, Etites, Perizzites, Evites, and Jebusites, who were not of the children of Israel, that is their descendants, who were left in the land of them, whom the children of Israel had not been able to destroy completely. Now, you have so many people debating in the Bible, debating not the Bible, whether God approves of genocide. But we have to understand, Israel was set apart in Old Testament covenant. Old Testament time before Jesus was sent, Israel was sent set apart to represent what God wanted for the nation to be an example. So when we're talking about these days and age when Jesus has already come, God has not taught anybody to wipe out any race and not have any discrimination against any race. In this set of time, God set a certain community as the foundation. And we have to ask ourselves, why did God want them to clear out all the Canaanites and Hittites and, and eradicate the enemy? What were they doing? For, to be eradicated. What would happen if they were around God's chosen people? What would happen if you were around things that God doesn't want you to be around? What are the Canaanite things in your life? What are the Hittite things in your life? What were they dealing with? Sexual morality. Sacrificing children to their gods. What are the things you are doing and sacrificing to gods that are not real, the one true God? What are you doing that God does not approve of? Eradicate these things out of your life. First Kings, chapter nine. So we see in eight, God, Solomon did the prayer and blessed the temple. Now, God appears to him the second time and he's saying, "Yes, I will bless and give him the situation." And then later, we see Solomon is sharing gifts to Haram. And I'm going to read from eleven, twelve. Then Haram went from the Thai to see the cities which Solomon had given him, but they did not please him. Now we have to say, why is Solomon giving cities away that his daddy took time to build back for Israel? That's one thing, but why did the king not accept the cities that Solomon wanted to give him? What are you giving people that they're not pleased with? We see these cities, remember he's a king, these cities must have been ugly cities, nothing good. He said, he even said these cities which you have given me, my brother, and he called them the land of Kabu. He's saying these, and this was Galilee, and he's saying these places are ugly. These places are no good. These places are nothing. And he, and remember later on in the passage that Jesus was raised in Galilee, and it says, if anything good will come from Galilee, what are the things you are giving people? Is anything good about what you're giving them, or are you giving them your best? Give people your best. What are you serving? Give people your best and be careful of words. We see that nothing will good come out.